Today I'm going to share with you how you can create your own virtual tours using Tour Creator. So let's get started. Once you enter into Tour Creator, and I've accessed it via my Gmail, but you can also access Tour Creator via your Google for Education account as well. So you go up to the top left hand side and you'll see there's a button to create a new tour. Simply by clicking on that, you can add a title. I am going to do one on Australia and in my description, I'm just going to write example. And then you can select what category this fits in. Now for every tour you create, you do need to have a cover photo. So for mine today, I have just got a beautiful photo of one of my favorite beaches in Australia. So I'm ready to hit the create button. Now I am ready to add my scene. So on the bottom left hand side you'll see um, it says add scene. By clicking on this, this is where I can add my 360 degree images. Now you do have access to all the images on Google Street View, but you can also upload your own photos, um, your own 360 degree photos. Now you may have a 360 degree camera, but if you don't, many phones today also have apps available that allow you to take these photos. For the sake of this example, I'm just going to use um, the photos on Street View. But in the classroom, obviously, you could have students take their own photos on excursions and then they could create tours when they come back to school. So here I'm going to search Sydney Opera House. And what's great about it is it drops me right there. Now this isn't quite a lovely image that shows the whole of the Sydney Opera House. So I can actually use the map here and click on the little pegman and drag and drop him onto another image. So this one here I think is a much better view, particularly for this tour that I'm creating. So I'm going to add it to my scene by clicking the button on the bottom right hand side. So I'm going to label this photo as Sydney Harbour. And what you can also do is add audio to your tours. Now, when you click on these, you simply need to upload an audio file that is of MP3 compatibility, and that can be there. But you can also add points of interest. So I'm going to label here um, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And you could also add an image or audio on each point of interest as well. And as I rotate my photo, I'm also going to add one over here on the Sydney Opera House. Perfect. Now I'm ready to add another scene. So I click on add scene down the bottom and this time I'm going to add Flinders Street Station. And there we go. Now again it has dropped me inside so I'm just going to drag my little pig man out onto the street and Okay, that's not the best photo because I have a tram in the way. And I've got lots of scaffold. Let's see. That's a much better one there. I'll use that one. So to add that to my scene, I simply click on Add Scene. And here I can label it. So I might go Melbourne and rotate around and add a point of interest. Flinders Street Station. And one more that I'm going to add is going to be so the Great Barrier Reef in Queensland. Now you can see it doesn't actually bring an image up. All I need to do is grab the pigman from the map and I can drop it on one of the points in the ocean and add that to my scene. So now I have my three scenes all created and I'm ready to publish it. So at the top here you can see the big publish button. It gives me the option to publish this publicly or unlisted. Now as a classroom teacher I always um, make everything unlisted as I don't think the whole world needs to see what I am creating. And then I simply hit publish. What it will now do is provide me with a link that I can share with my students and they can access it on their own devices, including mobile phones. And if you are familiar with Google Expeditions, it works exactly the same through Google Cardboard, which is really, really handy. Now, when I click on View Tour, you'll see now that students will be able to see 
um, each of the scenes and click on points of interest. So when they click on that point of interest, it will either provide them with information or an image. And I'll show you what that looks like on another one. And they can also go through the other scenes and have a look at different information that the teacher is providing them. Now I've pre-created one connecting it to um, Alison Lester's Are We There Yet? picture book, which takes a family on a journey around Australia. So in this one, I have created seven, seven different scenes. Um, obviously, it's not the whole story, but I'll be able to show you what this looks like. And These are really great because you can actually have students create their own and you can have them share these. So you can also embed them onto websites or school blogs so parents can see as well, which is always a great way to showcase student learning. So here you can see I have um, where they live in the first scene. And the second scene here is of the Barossa Valley. And there is a point of interest here. And at that point of interest, I've actually included a snippet from the picture storybook itself. So this allows students to actually see the pictures in the book and connect them to the real life locations. So this is just one way that I have connected it. But obviously with excursions and camps and a hundred learning experiences that happen with different locations all around the world you can actually create learning experiences for students without leaving the classroom which I think is amazing. When you are creating um, your own virtual tours you don't have to start from scratch which is fantastic. Google have provided a range of templates here so when you do enter in you'll see that you have templates and here you can select one and edit and change it according to what you want your students to know or learn or specific learning intentions which is really handy so i hope you've learned something from this short video on tour creator and make sure you follow it up and read the rest of the blog that i have created on this and reach out if you have any questions um, thanks